I'm gonna get one real close. Dude, the flash and then just seeing the dude is so yeah, sick. It is pretty cool. Oh. Let's get it. I think it's gonna be a good season. A very good season this year. Been shooting, been working hard. Let's get it. Not bad from 35 right there. We're looking good. All right, guys, what is going on? It is 2023, and we have another season upon us. Uh, this season's definitely going a lot different than I um, had thought back in 2022. Um, with merging anchor point and the whole nine yards but i've decided this year to uh film on my own with a phone and really not put a lot of pressure on myself or a lot into this whole editing and filming thing so um so far if you've liked what you know what i've been able to put out there um there's going to be more like that but it's going to be dumbed down a little bit and be a little more raw footage just getting back to the basics having fun um, involving family way more and uh, just enjoying ourselves so today right now we're just going to finish hanging well I'm going to finish uh, putting a set on a piece of private that I gained permission this past off season there are three beasts there and um, yeah that's where we're gonna start off 2023 thanks for uh, continuing to support me enjoying what we do here and uh, we still got the fanny pack we're ready to rock All right, guys, so as you can see, it is super thick in here. Uh, the habitat is unbelievable. There is a creek right down the way, which is basically right where the tree stand is that I put up. Um, I'm not gonna walk down there right now. I don't wanna stink this joint up any more than I already did today. But as you can see, it is so thick. There is a bunch of mixed timber in here. We have oaks, we have pines, um, beach. There is so much in here and a lot of green vegetation. This off season in Massachusetts, the winter was very, very minor. Um, you know, these deer did not have to excruciate themselves and put a lot of energy into surviving throughout this winter. And this summer has been nothing but rain, rain, and rain. Um, so my whole tactic this off season, I love hunting bedding. So I found and looked on the topo maps to find the thickest, smallest pockets. This pocket is only six acres. It's a small pocket and right over this gas line right here is an old horse pasture and um, it just run down. It's high grass, CRP up to your chin and it's just really good cover. So I think a lot of times they're coming right over down through here and there are runs everywhere in here. Um, but there is a swamp to the east of us as well in this small pocket um, where I found a ton of beds months ago. So they're, they're in here they like this small pocket we're making this raw this year uh no crazy footage what you're seeing is what you're getting baby let's drop a big buck all right guys i got my stand right up there this buck has been hammering this scrape here as you can see this scrape right here is torn up, guys. I'm gonna show you a bunch of clips of him hammering these scrapes, but it is looking good in here and what these deer are doing. Primarily this buck, he's coming across this creek. Our stand's right up there. We have a northeast wind for opening day and he's been coming in during daylight every evening and just hammering and hammering. So I have a really good feeling about this spot. Everything has worked out very well this summer. There were a bachelor of three mature bucks here. Now there is just one. He's a mainframe 10 with two kickers for 12. And I just hope we get lucky and we can cash in on this buck that has made this small pocket of woods his home.
it is October 3rd, and we are in the stand here for mass archery. And man, it feels good to be in here. Granted, it's a little warm today, but there was no way I wasn't gonna get in here where I have some shooters and some top dogs that I'm after. <clears throat> I just wanna give a big shout out to Eric over at Bohan Mass. Man, the things he does for the community is out of this world, and thank you so much for all the support you've given me. But uh, yeah, basically where we are right now, we are in this very dense and thick, thick swamp uh, just outside of some timber and also some old horse pasture. Um, but I've put a lot of time in here this past summer. I've kind of honed in on these three mature bucks that have been in here all summer. Well, recently two of them have disappeared in the month of September and one has stayed here. It's such a blessing to be even able to watch these deer on trail camera, but now to actually be in the stand, hopefully trying to harvest one is even better. Um, normally on a hot day like this, you wouldn't see me in the stand. It's just really hot. It's about 75 degrees. Um, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, but temps are gonna be dropping and we are about 75 to 85 yards outside of bedding. These deer are bedding uh, just over a gas line in an old rundown horse pasture. Really CRP and grass is just really high and you know there's a lot of cover in there for them. But coming out of bedding, coming from the west heading towards the east there's a massive run right be right below us that they take coming right through here um, and there's a bunch of timber behind us to the east where uh, where they've been munching down on acorns but I gotta say guys we have a beautiful creek that runs right through here directly to uh, to my north and there's two runs coming across this creek north to south so they have everything here that they need and everything is still very green. Vegetation is at its peak. I don't think these bucks are gonna go far at all, but whew, I'm not gonna bore you guys to death. I'm gonna show you guys some footage and, and hopefully we can see some activity tonight. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, I think we're gonna see some deer. It's just a good spot. And I think coming out of bedding with a west wind tonight, winds blowing in our face, I think they're gonna hit these scrapes I think they're gonna come through here, and I think we're gonna cash in, baby. Whew. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, it's 5.35. I just let out a little sequence of soft grunt calls since we're clo so close to bedding. Hopefully it gets these bucks on their feet and moving in this direction. Got the GoPro right here. The thing sucks. Cheap GoPro from Amazon, not even working. Turning on and then shutting off, turning on and then shutting off. We're gonna get the best footage we can. Uh, it's not the priority, the harvest is the priority. Footage is just a bonus, we'll see what we can do. But I gotta stay focused, I can't be uh, tinkering around with the damn GoPro. Let's get it guys. Guys, he came in man. <laughs> I wish I got more footage, I'm so sorry, but he came in and then he got like spooked. So he came in and then he kind of jolted back and I really had no shot at all. And uh, he started nailing a scrape that I have footage of him hitting and I'm gonna show you that footage right now. Earlier in the summer, he started hitting that scrape. I, I could not get footage at all, but it's <laughs> two does were to my right, they were coming in. I needed to let it fly. I let it fly. I'm pretty sure I hit him. I gotta go look at the arrow, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll, baby. All right, guys. It's been about 40 minutes. It's getting pretty dark in here right now. I'm going to uh, just walk over to that arrow, and then I'm going to get out of here. I haven't looked at it. I don't even know if there's blood on it. I think it was a true shot, but I don't know for certain. I truly do not know. He was hitting a scrape. Vitals were right to me broadside. <sighs> All right, it's, uh, what time is it right now? What time is it? Eight o'clock. All right, it's about eight o'clock. Made the shot at 6.37. This is a scrape right here. We got Joe Hall's glow sticks leading off the pack. We got all my boys here. And we're, uh, we're gonna jump this trail, uh, this track, and hopefully find a uh, deer real soon. Put, put another, yeah, put another stick wall on Put yeah, wing, we'll, we'll, we'll stick like right here or hang on the fence like that. How do you light them up? Press the button on the side. Like, pull a little button. I mean, <laughs> yes. 
Let's go. Let's go, baby. Dude, giant. He's 200 pounds. 200 all day. He's 200. Oh, that's a good shot from 34. Double him. Look at him. He's a beast, bro. He just posted him, dude. He just died. You know yeah, you saw that? Wait, I'm telling you, he made couple that ground in 30 seconds. Sprint. That's why. You know what I mean? This is his head, dude. This is his bedding, you know? I've been watching this fuck all summer, man. Oh, just fucking. I you 200. Beautiful, man. Look at that.